grade are you in? I'm going to the lake. Do you have any pets? No. What do you like to do for fun? Play basketball. Play basketball? Are you a point guard? No. So, <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, my name is Gabrielle Johnson. I'm 16. I graduated. I'm a sophomore now. Um, mm -hmm. I go to Hillsboro. And I have about five dogs. They really? Don't live with me. Wow. They don't live with me because my mom, she don't like dogs. Yeah. I killed my fish on accident. <laughs> 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 my name is Ronasia Diaz Moore. I'm 16. I go to Pearl Cone. I like to play basketball. I have a turtle. <laughs> His name is Speedy because he's fast. <laughs> this project was inspired by um, something that I had done in 2002 where I was working with a, a group of youth uh, in conjunction with the Oasis Center. And it was based on a series of very simple exercises teaching youth about urban planning, architecture, design, and uh, I just saw the impact that that had on the youth in regards to opening up their minds to the power that they could have and, and also asking them what they wanted to see happen in the city. Um, my name is Brittany Boyd. I'm 16. I go to Pearl Cone. I'm going to go to the 11th. I'm from Gary, Indiana. Then I like to go to the center. That's all. <laughs> my name is Miracle Hope. I'm 15. I'm going to the 11th grade. And I don't have any pets because I don't like animals. <laughs> my name is Brianna. I'm 17. I attend Pearl Cone. Let me see. I don't got no puppy no more because I lost them. But yeah, that's it. After they leave here, they can go forth and do something else. To, to better themselves, to better their you know education experience, to better their workforce experience. Maybe they can go forth with college. Um, I just really hope they get that piece, that developmental piece. My name is Virginia A. Stevens. I'm 16. I go to Pro, and I'm going to 11th grade. That's it. <laughs> My name is Jamie. I go to Pro. I'm 16. I got two dogs, and I would like to play soccer. My name is Mercedes, I'm 15, I go to Maplewood, and I don't have any pets. I would hope that they would have the opportunity to know that Nashville is a full and rich place in Middle Tennessee, as they didn't have to travel the world, they don't have to go to Paris to see great public art, they don't have to go to Charleston to find a walkable street with great houses and beautiful trees, that that, that experience is available here, and hopefully you know, we can show it to them and then they can go find it again. My name is uh, George Thompson, 16. I'll be a senior this year. Um, I go to Maplewood. I like playing basketball. I play games, Madden to be specific. And um, I don't have any dogs. I don't guess. I don't have any pets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't want pets. Get this focus on dogs. <laughs> I'm Caleb. I'm from Memphis. I'm 16. Uh, I got eight fish. Yeah, uh, one of them passed away though. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, it wasn't my fault. I don't know what happened, but uh, <laughs> it's just his time. It's just his time I, I know. Um, and I love to dance and sing, so don't ask me to sing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my name is Shanice Brown. It's like really a common last name, but you can call me Shay. Um, I'm 15, going on 16 in July, the 25th. Um, I'm a cheerleader. I go to MLK. I like to draw. And at my house, we had 14 fish at one time. And I had a fish for seven years, but then he died. I'm Allison Quintanilla. I'm 17. I go to Hume Fog. I work at Kent Station East Coast Subs, and I'm an intern for a nonprofit called Gun Free Dining. I have a dog named Elliot. He's 10. He's a Beagle Jack Russell mix. And that's about it. I want them to know that there are neighborhoods that are, you know, less fortunate and there are neighborhoods that are 
you know, more fortunate. And so just creating that drastic line of poverty versus, you know, a higher class and just being comfortable and being in a comfortable position for everybody. So just just creating the awareness of that. And so a lot of the activities focus on creating awareness. Uh, yeah. I love my neighbor. Yes, I love my neighbor. <laughs> yes, I like my neighbor. I love my neighbor. <laughs> yes, I love my neighbor. Yes, I love my neighbor. Yes, love my neighbor. Uh, only if. Yeah, only if they have on jeans. I'm going to whisper something in your ear. And you cannot tell anybody what it is. <laughs> to get out of the um, Design Your Neighborhood workshop, Jordan? Um, I hope to get a lot of experience, you know, learning a new thing. I hope to learn a lot about film and filmmaking and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of acting, that type of thing. I had, I had like a blue store right across the street from my house, like two bus stops and a gas station up the street. What do you hope to get out of the Design Your Neighborhood program? To help more the community and explore new places. To get together and help everybody like keep the community clean. So what do you hope to get out of the Design Your Neighborhood program? Um, new friends, new people to talk to, um, new knowledge. Where do you see yourself in five to ten years, five years, say? No, I'm graduating from college, being a doctor, well, a pediatrician, married, with my three children, happily off with my little dog. This is Charlotte. <laughs> we got stores like Kroger's, Walmart, Nashville West Nashville Shopping West. Center. That's TSU. This is <laughs> We're just here to try to show you more options about what you can do and why you should care about these things in the first place, which is something that I do with neighborhood groups all day long, is why you should care about design. And it's not just for the rich or for the well-educated or whatever. It's all, it's all around us and how you perceive your space and how you can, you can be a change in your environment.